For color grading in NUC, we have to use vector field. Vector field is a node where you can bring your LUT files. So here you can see the folder to get your LUT. In this case, I have one LUT. The extension is going to be .3dl. And if I choose open, you can see right away we have a pretty nice looking color grading. And this color grading is happening with this .3dl file. Now, the proper way to get your LUT into your image is you have to think about your color space. So we have two kind of color space. One is in and one is out. Always in is going to be sRGB and out is going to be linear. This is the color space we work in. Now you can see that we have a very bright image here. That's because of we have sRGB in our viewer also. So I don't need to have any kind of sRGB because I have chosen this thing in here. So I have to make it none and none means raw. Once I do that, now this is the perfect color we are getting from this .3dl file. And this is how you can get your LUT for color grading inside Nuke. But what if I want to get this same LUT inside Maya? Here I have vector field, a node. And in that node I have called .3dl file with in color space sRGB, out color space is linear. How can I do these things, the same thing inside Maya with Arnold? Now you can see here I have the same image rendered inside Arnold. So to do it, what I have to do, you have to go to your preference, color management, and view transform. So this one I have got from window, toolbar, icons, and you have this show view transform. Or else you can go for this gear sign and you will have this view transform sRGB gum and which is coming from your color management preference view transform. If I click on this, you will get a long list and we have this add new. So here we have this transform file. That means I can get my lot here. Here we have to have some name so it can be anything and the color space is going to be sRGB because this is view transform means to view your image. To view your image it has to be sRGB. Choose OK. You can see exactly we have got the render identical with the new output or vice versa. So you can render anything from Arnold with this LUT and you can put the same thing inside Nuke also. So the one LUT you can use in Nuke and the same LUT you can use in Arnold also. Now you can see here we have in view transform we have this name. Or if I go to window, toolbar icon, view transform, you can see we have this thing. So this is how we can add custom LUT into Arnold. Hope you have liked it. Thanks a lot for watching.